and we still have water flowing out of the pipe there. So I know it's still connected. And that's what we got. All right, I'm gonna walk around and show you guys the area. <clears throat> uh, so there's a lot of, well, those are vines, but there's a lot of thorns in this area. Oh look, the sun's out. Barely. Um, it's kind of hard to walk around up here. So walking to this other side, there's uh, another pipe somewhere around here that goes down this way. And down here, oh, that's really nice. Okay. So previously this trail, and I think I'm going to use this trail from now on, instead of walking up the hillside over there, uh, that's all cleared out. So previously that was a lot of brambles you could not walk through there, but now it's cleared out because the owner of this property, which is the owner that, I'm, that I've gotten permission to run my water line across, he's putting in a downhill mountain bike park trail thing for he and his buddies. So you can see there's the main road in front of our house. There's a pond that's across the street from our house. There's a big river. No, I'm not going to tell you guys which river that is. And we can go above the spring up into the power line area. Now here we can see the nice views. So there's some snow that had been drifting over the hillside there. I saw a lot of deer poop up here. You can see lots of things up here. All of the local businesses like I know what that is. That's a river. That's a little car dealership down there. Old defunct power plant, concrete plant. <sighs> oh look, they got some sun on them over there. And the surprising thing is, let me turn my microphone around so you can hear. There's lots of road noise still, all the way up here. And the road's down there, you can kind of see it. And then this hill, zoom out. Oh. <clears throat> and then this hill keeps going up there. And here I am probably 50 feet above the spring head. And I was wrong. There are some other springs up here, just not really accessible. And I could potentially bring the pipe up here up this ATV trail too, and let the pipe slide down the hill instead of trying to drag it up the hill, which I'm not looking forward to. So a little lesson on spring geology. People don't seem to know what they are sometimes. <clears throat> so think of the Earth's crust as a bunch of different layers. Sometimes these layers are flat. Sometimes those layers are crisscross or diagonal. And water likes to flow across the top of rock layers, like hard rock, bedrock. And in this case, there's at least two different layers of rock where water is riding along the top of. You have the rock that's um, by that ATV trail I showed you, and then there's rock further down by the spring that I'm using. Typically a lower, deeper layer of rock will yield um, older, more steady water. 
typically fresher, better filtered too. Higher up springs will be younger, uh, fluctuate greatly, and the water won't be as filtered or as pure, so maybe not potable. But potable isn't a guarantee even with a low spring. You can also have low springs or any spring that the water is not very old in the ground. So you'll have maybe a shallow layer of bedrock that water enters a little bit further uphill, goes underground for a few days, maybe weeks, and then comes out. So it's maybe not very filtered and seasonally it varies a lot. Or not even seasonally, but just what local weather patterns. <clears throat> In my case, the spring, I think, is an old one. But potability of water also depends on the type of ground above it and what's there. So typically, you don't want a spring that's below livestock. Or if you do have livestock, you want the spring to be older. Uh, and you want to dig a ditch above the spring to divert any effluent water, you know, poopy water. Above this spring, there is still, I mean, it's not livestock, but there's still lots of wildlife. For example, so that's deer droppings. Um, <clears throat> so any water that would get into that little spring aquifer is not necessarily potable. And even, even if it isn't potable, there are filtration methods you can use to make it potable. Fine filters, charcoal filters, and UV treatment will tr will remove any solids that are above the size of a, a water molecule and typically also treat any bacteria via the UV light. And why do people have to be so trashy? So I'm way up here in the middle of, well not nowhere, but it's a power line cut. And there's trash. So I'm gonna pick this up um, Last year, or maybe the year before, they came up here and they trimmed all the power line right of way. And I don't know if they used it in this section, I don't think they did. But in other sections of power line in the area, they were using a, uh, a helicopter with a vertical line of saw blades. And they'll just run that along the tree line and cut off any branches that are sticking out. 